The Jubal Show on demand. It's another Jubal phone prank. Weekday mornings on the 20s. This is Brian. How can I help you? Uh, Brian with a Y? Yeah. Okay. Um, Haley, um, one, one of your servers, I uh, called. Yeah. Oh, boy. Calm down. Calm down. What's going on? Oh, boy. I called uh, just the number. I... Oh. Huh? I'm sorry. Hey, I have a situation on? going on, and I'll tell you about it. So I just have to talk very carefully, because... Um... Is Haley okay? No. Oh, she's fine. She's working, I guess. She's the one that answered the phone when I called and asked to speak to a manager. She said your name was Brian, spelled with a Y, so... It's Brian with a Y, the manager at the restaurant. Yeah, yeah, Brian with a Y. What's going on, pal? I'm having stomach issues, and I'm in your bathroom right now. What? Oh, boy. You're, you're in the restaurant right now? Okay. Hey, hold on, hold on, buddy. Let me get someone to get in that bathroom. Oh, it's, it's... I saw Lamaz in a movie once, and I'm doing that. Hold on one second. <laughs> get Henry, get Henry, go back in that bathroom. Go to, you in the men's washroom? Get Henry, go to the men's washroom. I'm in the men's bathroom, yes. And I'm wondering, uh, okay. Okay, well, I, I, I still don't understand what the problem is. Okay, the problem is this, um, I'm in, oh boy, that's a new sensation I've never felt before. I'm in your bathroom, oh, and something bad is about to happen. And I'm on a date right now, and I can't get out there, and I don't know what to do, uh, because it's embarrassing to be on I don't, want you, I don't want you to destroy the washroom now. I, I got to get the gist of what you you're saying. Me, you don't want me... Oh, boy! Ah. Okay, so let me get this straight. You're in my washroom right now. You're on a date with your girl. Uh -huh. You're about to have a serious problem in the bathroom. Oh, we're all about to have a serious problem. <laughs> but what do you want me to do? Um, I need to make an excuse to her that's not embarrassing or could you just do the rest of the date for me? Yeah, 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 you know what? I, I can't finish the date for you, man. I'm sorry about that, but I, you need medical assistance. I can call the ambulance right now. I mean, that's the best thing to do. Oh, yeah. no. You can't be serious. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Um, uh, Brian with a Y. Yeah, yeah, what happened? What um, What happened in there? Um, I need, might need some snorkel gear, and you might want to call a hazmat crew, and I wouldn't even worry about helping me with my date thing now. I'd be looking into uh, finding a new place. Yeah, stay in there, don't move. Oh. I'm calling the ambulance right now. You stay in there. Okay. All right. Just, well, I'm just going to let so you know that this is a prank man. phone call then. Get the f*** out. Come on, man. Who is this? This is actually Jubal from the Jubal Show doing a phone prank on you. Your server, Haley, set you up. <laughs> oh, <my laughs> she, she said oh that, thank God. I thought, we, I thought we were done for in that bathroom. Oh, <laughs> she said that you're the manager of the restaurant and you're always back in the back of the restaurant working and she wanted to mess with you so she transferred the call in and uh i think your bathroom might be okay i don't know <laughs> <laughs> hilarious man oh man thank hey thank you hey, thank you guys for this being a prank because if it wasn't i'll be man i'll be i'll be in this for real yes you would <laughs> <laughs> the jubile show on demand only with One of the most awkward things that you can ever experience in life mm -hmm. that a lot of people don't like that I enjoy is an elevator ride oh. with a stranger. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's yeah. just the two of you on there. And one of you like it was like you can feel somebody's like, I don't like silence. Should I talk Should now? I Should I say something? I <laughs> but also, I don't know if I don't know about them. They look like they don't want to be talked to. Mm -hmm. I just stare uh, at the floor. Yeah. <laughs> and it's super <laughs> on awkward. My phone. Yeah. <laughs> but you get on your phone or if you don't have anything else to do, if you're not on your phone and you're both standing there, you're just looking at each other and it's like, all right, <laughs> <laughs> oh, we, hopefully this will be a quick ride and we don't get <laughs> stuck in here. Yeah. And apparently Patrick, who's on the phone for a first date follow up right now, 
had an awkward elevator ride where he actually ended up asking for somebody's phone number. Oh. Mm. And that's the girl he went out with, but now she's not calling him back, so we'll see if we can figure out what happened. Patrick, how are you? Hey, what's going on, guys? How you Hello. doing? Not much. That takes a lot of guts to talk to somebody mm. on an elevator, let alone ask for their number. For sure. <laughs> well, it, it do. It's so like, okay, so we work in the same building, but we don't like work at the same job. So we like, I like the elevator ride is like the only time like I pretty much get to see her. So I have to time it right that we could get in the same. So it's like, it wasn't a thing where you had never seen her before. And then you were on the same elevator and you're like, I guess I'll shoot my shot right now. <laughs> you, you've seen her before. Exactly. Did you like hang downstairs and wait for her? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, because, I mean, I was attracted to her, like, you know, I just wanted to talk to her, so... I feel like that's like, a yes. <laughs> you, you, like, lurk around the lobby until she walks in, you're like, all right, sweet, now I get to go in the elevator. <laughs> so it was, like, it was, like, a bunch of, like, tiny elevator conversations before I even worked up the nerve to, like, ask for a phone number, you know, so it took a while of, like, these tiny little conversations, because you can only talk for so long, so... Mm -hmm. You have to get off on your floor, you know. In the conversation in the elevator, she I'm guessing she seemed pretty into you, or because I would not ask for well, someone's yeah, number I mean, if they were. You no, know, it's just like you morning conversation. Start off like, oh, what kind of coffee are you drinking? Blah, blah, blah. I like that place. Was like, and then, you know, built from there. Was she just being polite, or do you think that she was into you? Well, she, well I eventually asked for her number, and then I texted her we went out and i feel like still could be polite though really some well. people would still do that <laughs> yeah. some people are still that polite where they're like i just don't know how to say no to right. anything um <laughs> okay i'm on the elevator here's my number you asked me out i guess i have to say yes uh, before you and then i also don't know how to tell him that i want him to go away so i'm just gonna like ghost him now yeah, yeah. so yeah i mean she could have just been polite but how was the date when you guys actually went out honestly i thought the day went great you know like you know, we got, had a lot in common you know we similar music we like and tv shows and you know we like we hit it off pretty well i mean like i like i feel like we both had a great time and well, what'd you I actually just, do for the day right. well we went out uh we got a couple of drinks we went to like a wine tasting uh spot and like you know she likes wine i like wine so i figured that'd be a good place to go and we both were enjoying ourselves and like I, I I think maybe though uh, I did get a little bit tipsy and I'm like that might have been an issue because like and like I don't I don't think I blacked out but there's definitely parts of the evening I don't remember fully. So, You're getting like, hammered on a first date usually not the best. I, that look. was not my intention. Like I just I just don't I just don't hold my liquor that well and right. like that was definitely not like what I was going for. But other than that, like we were both laughing. There was a lot of laughing and like. I thought we were, everything was going fine, but yeah, I just don't, uh, yeah, I don't know what's up. How about the lip situation? Uh, gave her a kiss on the cheek of the night. I'm not, like, you know, super aggressive. It was a first date, and then I want to, like, you know, be like, oh, like, I was just happy enough to get a number from the elevator, so, like, you know. How long has it been since you guys talked? Yeah, it's almost two weeks now, I feel. Have you seen her in the elevator lately? <laughs> Yeah, like I've seen her walk through the lobby, but I haven't gone in the elevator because uh, it would just be too awkward, I think, because mm -hmm. I haven't, like, she hasn't responded. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, yeah. Patrick, no. I mean, you said there's a few things you don't remember from the night. I'm going to go out on a limb and say one of those is probably why <laughs> she's not calling you back. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I would love to find out just to, like, get clarification would, like, help me out a lot, I feel. We'll play a song, come back, and then call her and see if we can figure it out for you with your first day follow-up, all right? Cool, thanks, guys. Yeah. It's a Jubal Show. First date follow-up, if you're just joining us, Patrick is on the phone, and Patrick is getting ghosted by a woman named Celine. Mm -hmm. They work in the same building, and they've taken the elevator a few times together, and he's been admiring her the whole time, <laughs> waiting for his moment to pounce. Yep. Not like that, in a nice way, <laughs> and ask her for her number, and he did the other day on the elevator. She gave it to him. They went out on a date to do a little wine tasting. He said they had a great time, although he doesn't remember all of the date because he did have a little too much wine mm -hmm. and got kind of drunk, and he thinks that's why she's not calling him back. But other than that, he has no idea, and he's seen her in the building but is scared to get on the elevator with her now, which I understand because <laughs> that would be super awkward. I'm going to call her right now, Patrick. You ready? Yeah, man. All right, here we go. Hello, I'm asking to Celine. Yes, this is she. Hello, Celine. Um, who is this? This is Jubal uh, from the Jubal Show. It's a radio show. And this is Ox Fresh. And this is English Evan. Sorry, I don't, I don't know who that is. 
The Jubal Show is a radio show. And we're calling you today because we do a segment on our show called The First Date Follow-Up. That's where if you go out on a date with someone and then end up ghosting them, they can email us to get you on the phone and ask what happened. So we got an email about you, and it's from a dude named Patrick. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. And Patrick told us a little bit about your date. He said that he's always thought you were beautiful, saw you in the lobby and stuff at work. You guys rode the elevator a few times, and then he finally asked for your phone number. And you went out with him for a little wine tasting. And after that, you haven't talked to him since. And now he's scared to get in an elevator for the rest of his life. <laughs> what happened? Yeah. Um, I don't know. He just drank a little too much. He wasn't cute, you know? And not really hold his liquor. Mm. Well, he did tell us that he got a little drunk, mm -hmm. which could definitely be a turn off. Uh, yeah, I mean, it was just wine. It's not like we were drinking hard liquor or anything like that. Well, Dude, wine is way stronger. Yeah, weren't you a bit tipsy, too, after drinking a few wines? I mean, yeah, when I was girl, I got to hold it together. He got a little too drunk on your date, and was that, that just the turnoff for you? Yeah, he was also just kind of loose-lipped, you know, like, kind of divulging a little bit much. What do you mean, loose-lipped? Well, he just was like, you know, I've been eyeing you, and... I plan out like when I try to like see you in the morning because that's like the only mm. time I could get with you. And I mean, that's I mean, there's a, there's a line, right? I mean, yeah, Alex just said that. She said it's kind of cute. I would think that there's a cute version of that, and then there's a creepy version of that. Okay, so this is why I think it's creepy. So at the end of the day, like I had to go to the bathroom, right? And I was like, hey, I'll meet you outside, and I'll meet you at the car, right? So I came outside after using the bathroom, and he was standing beside my car, but, like, he didn't see me. But, like, I saw him, and he was smelling my car. What? He was doing what to your car? He was smelling my car. Ooh. Smelling my car. So, like, I saw that, and I was like, okay, this guy is really drunk. This is weird. And I was like, this. I'm out of here. I'm just not going to even, like... Try to confront a drunk dude right now, and That's really I weird. had to get out of there. That does cross yeah, the line of weird. creep, I would say. Well, smelling, maybe. Why is he smelling? Weird. What's he smelling like, on? You know how like, guys like, like to smell girls because like, they smell pretty? Yeah. yeah. But that's mm. like a whole other level. He's like <laughs> drunk and he's like, mm, maybe I can uh, smell her perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> that's weird. You know what's also weird, Celine? What? Is that he's actually been on the line listening this entire time. Yeah, he wants to talk to yeah. you, actually. Sorry about that. We forgot. It's really weird that we forgot. He's probably Oopsie. smelling you through the phone. Wait, what? Yo, I'm... Yeah. Oh, my God. So, hey, what's up, Celine? Hey. Look, <laughs> 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 like, I know that's totally weird. I'm, like, I get it, like, how that must look to somebody and, like, being drunk and smelling your car, like, that it... That like, sounds totally yeah. normal, Patrick. <laughs> I do not, like, go around smelling cars. Like, that's not a thing I do. I just feel like, you know, and I know, like, me being, like, a little bit tipsy is awkward, but... So why were you smelling my car, then? Okay, What's so I swear I was, like, smelling, like, coolant. It smelled like your radiator might be overheating, and that's the only reason it's, like... Because I've had my car do that, and I that's I thought I was like I smelled coolant, mm. and that's why I was like getting closer to the hood to see if that like that like that must look awkward as <laughs> like from mm -hmm. somebody like observing, and yeah, that's awful. Yeah, it was like really weird. You were swaying. You were drunk. Yeah, like I I mean like I don't I don't drink a lot, and I don't like go wine tasting. That's the first time I've ever been like wine tasting on a date. Like I eat like that's. You know, Here's a better question, just... Patrick. We know you were drunk, obviously, very drunk. <laughs> you you don't usually drink very much. Never got wine tasting on a date. Is this the first time you smelled a car on a date? <laughs> I don't know if you're a serial car smeller. Oh, 100%, or... <laughs> yeah, like I've never this is like totally not a thing that happens to me. Okay. Like yeah, this is well, that's really a car on a date. Yeah, it's not. Hmm. Listen, I promise. I know it was super weird, but yeah, I'm trying. It's very embarrassing, by the way. Like yeah, this is. Not like well, this is not the first impression I wanted to make. You know, I was excited to go on a date with you. This is like mortifying, actually. But yeah, I was just concerned that like your radiator might be messed up or a hose or something because it's like I, I thought I smelled a little bit. Of, there's a certain smell that like 
Okay. You're, 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 you're obviously very nervous and you want her. You're rambling now, which is, I understand. I would be too. I'd be like, no, I promise I'm not a weirdo who wants to smell you through your car. Um, Celine, would you like to go out with Patrick on another date again? We'll pay for it. Ooh, I'm going to say no. Oh, mm. really? But he said he's not a creep. <laughs> Yeah, he said he's not a creep. <laughs> yeah, that's what creepy people say. I guess you're right. <laughs> oh, sorry, Patrick. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Thanks anyways, you guys. The Jubal Show on demand. 60 seconds from your shot caller question.